All right, Afro Head. It is Sunday, May 30th, 11.14 p.m. Cheers. Let's celebrate. Been taking these pills for years. EM Power Plus. It's a bunch of vitamins. It's supposed to be good to help balance your mood out. But I have not been feeling particularly balanced. I have been feeling super intense set sets of emotions. I've been home mostly sleeping after a month or maybe more of just really intense work every day. Working on sets and then teaching. Two weekends of teaching convention. Mm. That's good. Now I'm here. I'm back home. I surfed tonight for the first time in a few weeks. That felt good. Got one of the best waves I can remember ever getting at Topanga, but my my flow was okay, but it didn't feel like I could really dig in. It was like my weight wasn't quite centered and easy. So I kind of got this, there's somebody sitting right there, this kid that was kind of ripping, and he's watching, and I go, go to do his turn on the section, and I just bogged my rail and fell, and I'm like, no, there's tons of wave left, probably over half the wave left, and it was already a sick wave up to that point, so... What can you do? Luckily not feeling too crazy about it. I just feel a lot of change. I feel like I can feel myself changing. I can feel the elements of my childness slipping away some of them that's a really wild feeling one of those things i notice is when i when you're a kid i really felt like everyone knew something i didn't in so many different scenarios whether it was dance or school or conversations or this or that and this movie this thing this that that everyone just knew things that i didn't and now I feel like that that thing is starting to fall away. I'm realizing two parts. One, nobody really knows what they're doing. Or maybe they do, but they've found their own way. You know, there's no collective, this is, this is it, the, the things we all know sort of thing. <laughs> and then... Um, the other part I feel is if they know things when it comes to a skill, it's just because they spend a lot of time doing that thing. And I've really felt that as I've studied more music, just realizing I didn't start playing guitar until my mid-20s, really. Like, really heavily yet probably 24 and I'm 28 so there you go I, I, I picked up a lot in four years so it's just time and passion obviously in the drive um, but just spending time with things and finding your own way about it cars screeching in the canyon. Part of me feels really alone at this stage in my life. And then my, my aloneness feels like I'm the only person who really knows my own experience at the end of the day. And that can be terrifying, or it, when I'm really angry lately, it's just like, I don't know what to do with that, because I feel it so strongly, it's like I'm feeling the entire earth. It's like the rage of something way bigger than me, so it's kind of like, I want 
people to understand that that's what I'm feeling. I want to, I don't want to hide myself anymore. That's, that's a big part. I don't want to hide and disguise where I'm really at anymore. And I'm scared of, that that might get me in weird situations when it comes to anger. Especially with strangers or being out in public, you know, anger is not really accepted. Like I'm thinking how often I feel angry and it's more and more lately because I'm, I've opened myself back up to it and I'm creating a n new relationship with it. After years and years of that being done. And so I feel freaked out because the other day on a plane, after all this work, I'm really just exhausted. Uh, and I was, I've like been past my breaking point for weeks, it felt like. And then I'm on finally on the flight home all the way from the East Coast. And I'm like just going through different emotions on the flight, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm keeping myself pretty calm and it's a long flight and I'm, I was doing good. But I could feel all these emotions bubbling up even before the flight. And at the end, I'm in the very back, and this guy just stood up right away, and he's kind of right in my space, closing me into the aisle. And I just felt so enraged by that, because we're going to have to wait for the whole plane to deplane. And I could feel myself wanting to hit him or push him. And I kind of did, not not super physically, but just with my knee, just kind of trying to give myself some space. And then he was still kind of in my space in a way I didn't like at all, like had his hand on my thing. This is so funny. But I could feel myself just enraged and claustrophobic and a little panicky just with all my emotion of all of the, the past few weeks and, the, and more than that, just where I'm at. And I tapped him on the shoulder and I said, will you give me some space? I'm feeling claustrophobic. Pretty much like that. And he said, I can't, you know, we're waiting for the, like, basically said no. And I felt so shut down. I felt my heart shut down in that moment because... All I really wanted to do was say, hey, can I get some fucking space right now? I'm freaking out. But I said it in a gentler way. And then the answer I got was no. And so I felt very shut down because... I didn't feel like I got what I needed. And I'm still feeling shut down about that. So that kind of puts me in a scary place because I feel like I'm on this edge right now where I have this rage bubbling up every so often. And it's bubbling up in any situation, you know? It's bubbling up all the time, especially with other people, obviously, and interactions where I feel like Maybe things aren't fair or somebody's treating somebody else in a way that I would hate to see or someone's maybe just not being a good human or something from my perspective and my point of view. And what I feel like I am is I'm on my edge. I feel like I'm on the edge of being the guy that screams in the back of the plane. And in that moment, I really almost went there. The guy yelling... In, in public and I'm surprised I don't see that more as I look at animals you see them bicker and bark at each other all the time when one gets pissed off at another even dogs that are friends like at my friend's house the other day you know one's nagging and bugging the other and they get they really go at it for a moment and then it smooths out and they're friends again you know all sorts of dynamics are happening like that but what I'm feeling right now is as a human in this current form, there's so many things that aren't okay. 
And a lot of that's from me, and I'm starting to recognize the, the ways that I've been saying that to myself. And a lot of it right now is just around my anger because it's so strong. And it's very terrifying to not know what to do with that and where it's going to go. But I'm still here on the planet. And I'm not running away from it. That's that's really interesting. I'm not running away from it. I don't feel like in any way I'm really going in the opposite direction of what I'm feeling. I could feel myself kind of not knowing what to do with it, but I don't feel like I'm numbing it or causing more trauma to myself and pushing it down. I'm really sober. I've been sober, really sober completely again for a while. And I can feel everything bubbling up, all those moments of trauma. A lot of them when I was stoned, just getting into weird situations. Almost getting in fights or getting into weird situations with girls or, or being drunk and going blackout and screaming, whatever it is, like just substances taking me to places that don't really seem positive. And thinking about all my trauma that's come from that and heal, even healing from that. feels like a lot of weight. I've got a lot, a lot of weight. And I can imagine on the other side of whatever it is I'm feeling now, there's probably going to be a new understanding of who I really am. And the one thing that I feel like is really guiding me right now is my music and music in general. Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. That's been really nice. And then my guitar, my Rickenbacker, just playing it a bunch again. Let me pick it up. Playing this guitar all the time, man. This shit really made me fall in love with music. Once I got this, I was living with my friend Dylan, picked this thing up, and I really got really hooked on music. So thank God for this guitar. Thank you, God, for music. Constantly. A positive and redeeming aspect of this whole experience. So I'm so grateful for that. And I've been learning a lot. That's where I've been putting my energy. I've been sleeping and I've been playing guitar. And I got to surf again tonight. I know I've, I've been watching The Queen's Gambit today. Watched like quite a few episodes. It's very, very good. I'm crying more. I'm crying more just in my life. And that feels like a good thing too. My emotions are more readily available. So that's good. I think these things. About. All right. I'm going to wrap it up there. Much love.